All right, thank you all for coming, and some of you, thank you for coming back for the high school portion of our jazz show tonight. Uh, my name is Gerald Ramsey. I direct our second jazz band here at Cedar Falls High School, um, and uh, we're excited to do our first performance of the of the school year for you. We're going to open with a composition by Ellen Rowe that uh, I think it was written for the uh, Minnesota All-State Jazz Band, maybe. Um, it's, it's, it's a tune I like. I've been doing this for a few years, and after a while, some of the music starts to sound similar. And this one is uh, less similar, and I, I, I really appreciate that. So I hope you enjoy Point Counterpoint.
Thank you very much. Uh, on that one, we heard uh, from Ben Campbell on drums, Michael Kramer on tenor saxophone, Taylor Hansen on alto sax, Holly Hayes on tenor sax, Annika Strom on trombone, Brandon Crawford on, on uh, flugelhorn, I think, on that one, and Abigail Townsend on piano. Uh, one of the things that we do as we're preparing uh, our material for the for this season is uh, we, we do some work in rehearsals where everybody's uh, getting a chance to learn some of the tools for improvisation. Um, and then ultimately I said, okay, who wants to blow on this one? And uh, it starts to become the usual suspects uh, uh, from one song to the next. So you're going to hear some of the same soloists on, on all of these songs, um, and that's okay. Um, but uh, until we until we've played around with it for a while, we really don't know who's going to play where. So uh, you might have heard that we missed some school. Um, <laughs> so we, we heard they tried to figure out who was going to play where. So uh, this, this is our roadmap, and if, if there appears to be confusion, um, it's, it's because we're, we're trying to read our pink sheet. By the way, this is the pink, commemorative pink uh, solo order. And we have copies that the students will be signing in the lobby uh, for your place to have a commemorative. So, okay, never mind. Um, next composition uh, is by the great Benny Carter. Uh, some of you are probably familiar with his music, and probably a lot of you are not. He, uh, he was one of the early, early jazz figures. Um, uh, started off playing with Fletcher Henderson back in the 20s. He recorded with, with Fletcher and, and some others. He actually has a distinction of he recorded in eight different decades, which I think is pretty cool. He finally, uh, uh, well, he, he was recording through the 90s, and I think he died in 2003 or something like that. Uh, but anyway, this is a great tune of his, a walking thing. We'll hear from this, uh, on, on this one we'll hear from Grace King on upright bass, Brandon Crawford, Holly Hayes, Annika Strom, Isaac Kine uh, on trombone, Taylor Hansen, Mia Houlihan on alto sax, and Michael Kramer again on tenor sax. So here's Judy Carter's The Walking Thing. Thank you. 
Okay, it goes without saying, but stick around.
So would you give those three uh, students back there a round of applause? Then you might be looking at your program and going, why is it Vocal Jazz 12 and Vocal Jazz 21? Um, there is only one very simple reason. We have something called Power Hour here and split into two shifts. There's a first shift and a second shift. And it was a way for me to have the students remember which shift they rehearsed on which day. So the first number is what shift they rehearsed on Tuesday. The uh, second number is what shift they rehearsed on Thursday. That's the only thing it means. It has no bearing on one is better than the other. It was just a way for them to not ask me, do we have a rehearsal today? What number are you? 12. What day is it? Thursday. What shift do you have in second? Done. That's all it means, okay? That's all that there is. So we will conclude tonight with I'm beginning to see the light, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to say. Thank you. 